Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use the Bissell Crosswave. This multi-surface floor cleaner vacuums, washes and dries your floors all at the same time and you can use it on hard floors and area rugs. I'll start by filling up the water tank. Use warm water for the best cleaning results. As you'll see, there are lines on the back of the tank to show you how much water and cleaning formula to use. I'm going to be cleaning quite a large area, so I'll fill it up to this line here. Then we top it up with the cleaning formula. You get a sample of multi-surface formula with your Crosswave, but when that runs out, you can order more from Bissell Direct or from most other Bissell stockists. Now we'll put the tank back onto the machine. Make sure it clicks into place. If you ever think your Crosswave is leaking, it's probably because the water tank isn't in properly. Now we're ready to start cleaning. I'm starting by cleaning a hard floor, so I'm going to choose the hard floor mode. Under the handle there is a trigger and when you squeeze that, the water is sprayed out onto the brush roll at the front. And when you let go of the trigger, the water will stop. To clean the floor, squeeze the trigger as you go over the area you are cleaning and then release the trigger as you go back. As you pull the crosswave back, it will suck up most of the water from the floor. The great thing about the Crosswave is that you can control exactly how much water you put down. If you think the floor is looking too wet, then just squeeze the trigger a little bit less. Or if it's too dry, squeeze the trigger for longer. This makes it perfect for delicate floors that you don't want to get too wet. After a while, you may notice that the noise suddenly changes and becomes more high-pitched. That means that the dirty water tank is full and it's time to empty it. Now I'm going to clean an area rug. You don't need to change the brush roll or use a different cleaning formula. All you need to do is press the area rug button. You clean rugs in the same way as you do hard floors. Squeeze the trigger going forwards and release to go back. When you finish cleaning, it's a good idea to let the machine run for a few seconds without squeezing the trigger. This just lets all the water make its way back into the tank so that nothing leaks out once you've turned it off. Now you can clean your crosswave. Put it onto the storage tray, then fill up the measuring jug with the water and pour this into the tray. Tilt the crossway back and turn it on until it has picked up all of the clean water. This rinses off the brush roll and the front cover. Now that the brush roll is clean, you can put it in the holder to dry. Remove the dirty water tank. Empty the dirty water down the drain, then rinse out the tank and the filter. Once everything is dry, you can put your crosswave back together, ready for next time.